In today's video, we're looking at how to connect our retail agent into Google Sheets. And what we will need is our simple agent in this case. It doesn't really matter what agent you're working with. In this case, I just selected a single prompt agent from the template from retail. What we can just say it's your calling name and their email is and talk about life. Very simple. So yeah, let's do that and then save. And then what we of course we need is a make.com so we can connect our agent from retail into Google Sheets. So it kind of connects the two together. All right. And then we have our simple sheet, which we will be setting up later. Cool. So I set up some dynamic variables just so we can play around with this and see if they get sent into Google Sheet. And I will be using the name and the email. So we can already set it here in the dynamic variables. So name in my case is Mohammed, an email. We can do example, example.com, sweet. Let's save. Okay, so now our job is to connect this agent to make. And the way we do this is with a webhook. Essentially what webhooks are, are a way to connect and to send information from retail or from any application into another receiving application. So in our case, it's make. So the webhook, we put it in make so that it kind of receives information from retail and then it processes it. We can process and work with that information. So let's set the webhook up. And we, the way we do it is we go to make, select webhooks, create custom webhook. Well, we give webhook name, so you just select whatever name you want. I have it already, it's called Retail New Sheet, and we save. Make sure to save again. And what we will need is this link right here. So we copy this link, and we go back to Retail, and then you will see Agent Level Webhook URL. And that's where you paste it. And yeah, I guess there's no way to save here. It's not changing a character, but yeah. Anyways, so now we should have our retail hooked up into make. So whenever we do any call, we should be able to kind of transfer the information. I think one interesting thing that we can do before we start the call is add post call analysis and make it in my case, I'll just call it call summary. And what this does is pretty much, yeah. You can also add a description specifically on how you want your summary to be. But in our case, it's just going to be a very simple summary. So just say that. Let's do that again. Boom, save. Cool. I think we can test it. So bear in mind, we're not connecting yet into retail. We just want the info to see if the information actually goes through. So from retail into make. So what we do is we click on run once. Okay, I was using it before, but let's wait for new data. Go to the agent. Like this. Hey there. Hey, how's it going? How's life treating you? Yeah, doing good. Do you know who I am? Not exactly. You could be anyone, but I'm here to chat with you about anything on your mind. Wait, want to tell me a bit about yourself? Don't you know my name? My apologies. I don't actually have access to your name unless you tell me. So, who am I chatting with today? Okay, thanks. Yeah, that's strange because whatever. I mean, it's not important for this example. Anyways, we want to see if the information went through. Let's see. Sweet. I'm curious if actually the name came through. Yeah, it came. Perhaps we should make it more explicit in the prompt that it is the name, but well, it's not really important in this case. So yeah. Okay. We got the call. It works. It's hooked up. Now what we can do is pretty much connect. So the second step, connect our make into retail so we can take the information that we receive and send it over to retail so uh, sorry to google sheets so perhaps we can say that we want the name email i don't know like the transcript perhaps transcript sweet all right okay so onto the google sheet so let's set it up we select the connection i think if you don't have one yet just click that and select it then we do select the spreadsheet ID and we have the sheet name and now we map out the fields. So we go name, it's already there, email, transcript and summary. Ah, oh, yeah, that's uh, probably, yeah, let's see. I think the summary didn't come out. Anyways, I think we might need to run it once in order for the summary to come over. 
So let's click save. Okay, so what we can also do is click here, delete all data, delete, and start immediately, save, and we can run a call. Hey there. Hey Mohammed, how's it going? Doing How's good. life treating you these days? Yeah, I'm shooting a recording today. That's awesome, Mohammed. What kind of recording are you working on? Is it for a project, a passion, or something work-related? Tell me more. Yeah, we can close it here and let's see. Oh, we see that the information came through. And yeah, I was playing with it before, but we can see that the information came through correctly. So, Mohammed, example, and example. The transcript and the summary was actually already filled out. So, yeah, that was pretty much it from this tutorial. So, I just wanted to quickly show you how you can hook up retail with Google Sheets. So if you found this valuable, please leave a like. If you have any questions, please consider booking a call with me in order to go over it or just simply comment in the description. I'll make my best to get back to you as soon as possible. That's it. Thanks a lot. See you next time.